Hi, my name is Christopher Argueta and welcome back to one of Magic's basics tutorials. Today we're going to be covering a very simple uh, layer in After Effects called the Shape Layer. Uh, now the Shape Layer is used to help animate whatever you've placed inside the Shape Layer. And uh, we'll get into that today by just kind of animating a word. So let's begin. Uh, we're going to start with the new composition, nothing fancy. Uh, let's set this to just one minute. We don't need uh, anything too long. Everything else is fine. Uh, keep this at 24 whenever you can. All right, so now we've got our timeline. We're going to start by right clicking here. And when you go to new, you'll get shape layer. All right, now that we've so now that we're selected in the shape layer, uh, anything we do inside the shape layer uh, becomes a shape inside of that shape layer, which sounds pretty obvious, but uh, it can lead to some troubles if you're trying to do text or anything like that. Uh, so for the most part, anything that's a shape and a pen tool will stay inside of your shape layer. Essentially any shape will be recognized in the shape layer. And you need to make sure you're unselected out of the shape layer uh, to create new layers. But we do want we want to draw in our shape layer so we have it selected and i'm going to pick the pen tool i'm just going to put something down very basic very simple something like i don't know high let's uh let's click and drag this upwards see if we can get that nice h curve cool Right, it's not perfect. Uh, then you hold left alt and just left click, and then it will recognize as uh, just kind of finish with that pen tool. So that's our first shape. This is our second shape, just the letter I, nothing fancy. All right now, we can get to the interesting stuff. Uh, make sure you have a shape selected and then you're gonna notice uh, this add button here and what the add button does is it gives you all of these options to add things into the shape layer uh, most of these you've seen before of course uh, but these are the ones that we want to look at because these are the animations uh, that make the shape layer so interesting so we're gonna use trim paths uh, which you notice shows up and brings their uh, drop-down menu up uh, All of this is things that we've done, you know the fill the stroke everything is editable inside the uh, shape layer We're just gonna Keyframe this to zero You're already seeing the animation happening And then let's go over here, let's say and set it to end. So when we play that back, let me uh, deselect here. Get a nice and slow drawing of the H. Let's kind of bring this way over here. So it's way shorter. Then we can go and select our shape two. Click Add, Trim Paths again, bring its drop down menu, and begin recording. We want the I to show up after the H, so we're going to start right here. Going to add another keyframe so that it stays at zero, then drag it a couple frames and see how that looks.
there you go so you can play around with all of these they um, they all do something kind of different kind of crazy but they as you can see they give you more options to animate uh, a shape or a path that you've put in After Effects so I hope that helped you uh, see what you can do with shape layers in After Effects and I'll see you in the next one